Hi folks, welcome once again to Mr. H's Weekly Recap, where we try to give you a rundown of what's going on in room 1925. Um, today will be our final recap of the fall semester. Uh, next week we'll be taking the week off to get ready for finals and kind of get things going for the spring. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed um, kind of what we brought to offer in this new medium, and hopefully um, it's been informative and kind of kept you guys in the loop as far as what's happening. Um, let's get to stuff as far as uh, scheduling goes for these last two weeks of the semester. Um, as many of you know, this week we've been involved in keystone testing. So we have these two-hour delay schedules we've been running with rotating periods. Um, your students have gotten a copy of that schedule kind of sent out to them uh, along with amendments when we've had delays and different things come up. So hopefully they have those. If not, let me know. We can send out another copy, but we also have it available uh, on my Twitter feed, but also on uh, my high school website. So you could also go there and obtain a copy or just double check yourself as far as the coming days. Um, included with that schedule is also a final schedule. Um, so you know the rotation of tests and also students know where they're supposed to be at what times. Um, hopefully we'll have a more detailed item that we can put out uh, probably through the Twitter feed coming up here, but for the time being that will work as kind of our, our benchmark for what the finals are going to look like. Um, as many of your students also know, this Friday is the deadline for makeup work. I will take makeup work with few exceptions uh, up until the end of the day. Uh, we still have some assignments that are going to be coming in next week, but for most of the kind of extraneous stuff, homework, projects, that kind of thing, um, I need the time to get the portal in order. Uh, in order, excuse me. So. Um, we, we basically have to cut folks off after Friday so that I have the three-day weekend to get ready um, and get things in order for finals. So please encourage your students, if you haven't already, if they have a free period, if they have some downtime during the course of the day because of SOC or something like that, um, please encourage them to get those last-minute things in uh, before 3 p.m. so we can get that taken care of. Um, with that being said, we do not have school on Monday the 16th because of Martin Luther King Day. Um, so we'll be working in other areas there. And also on January 23rd, uh, the following Monday, we will also not have class because that is kind of our transition day here at the high school to get ready for the spring. And pretty much students wouldn't have, um, if they came in that day, wouldn't have had class with me anyway. They'd be moving on to their spring schedule and kind of what those new classes are going to look like. And we'd have new students in here taking a look at these videos. Um, Let's talk really quickly about some of the classes, kind of end of semester items before we uh, kind of close here. Um, for the Gov students, um, we have two deadlines that are going to be coming up that are very important. Uh, one is the deadline for our class journals. Uh, that will be the Tuesday we return. Um, students should be up to date. If they've been in class, they should be ready to go. If they do not have a, a journal entry for whatever reason, they can go and get those off my website or they can touch base with somebody who was in class and get those items that way. Um, it doesn't really matter to me as long as they get the question, uh, they fill out what's required of them, and they have their journal ready to go on that Tuesday for turn-in. Uh, we may do a wrap-up entry that day, um, but we'll wait and see. Um, I haven't really thought too much about that day. Right now we're trying to get through keystone testing. Uh, the other big deadline is our current event log uh, collection, which will be on Wednesday next week. Um, students have uh, obviously been working on this all semester. They also have kind of a final analysis, a wrap-up assignment that they're going to be working on and kind of finalizing. Uh, please encourage your student to use the three-day weekend to do that. And if they have any tech questions, to email and let me know. Um, and we'll try to troubleshoot that. But um, we will collect those by the end of the day on Wednesday. And we will make sure that those grades get up very quickly. Um, usually while the students are taking their finals, I'm finalizing uh, current event log grades and getting those up and posted. Wednesday will also be a review day where we'll finish up what we need to finish up as far as the course goes. And then we basically take the rest of the period and do a massive review uh, in preparation for that final exam. Uh, finals will then be Thursday and Friday. First block will be Thursday. Um, third block will be Friday. So just make sure your students are aware of where they need to be when, and um, we'll get them taken care of from there. Uh, for the world history guys, same type of similar schedule, kind of wrapping up odds and ends as we move forward. Um, for the world history guys, their current event logs are also going to be due on Wednesday. Um, some slightly different requirements for them, but they still will be doing a final analysis project as well. So all that stuff is available on the classroom. So if they have questions, email. They will also be doing a review day on Wednesday. Um, when they come to take their final on Friday, they will also be turning in their notebooks for the final time. And I've told the students, if you would like the binder back, I usually try to pilfage a couple good binders uh, to keep for students for the new semester or for the next year. Um, 
put a note in the front uh, or shoot me an email. That way I know to hold on to it. And um, I'll usually hold materials for the first week of the new semester. If nobody picks them up by then, uh, I usually trash them or um, I use the notebooks uh, for the new students who are coming in. So just kind of keep that in mind if you plan on using that notebook again for a new class. Um, we want to thank everybody again for kind of paying attention, offering positive and constructive feedback on these reviews. Um, it's something new I tried this semester. Hopefully it was helpful. And um, best of luck to everyone in the spring semester. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys hopefully next time.